Hello, YouTubers. Um, I wanted to make a uh, an engine test stand for my CB350s. Uh, most of the bikes that I build are CB350s. And I have probably, uh, I don't know, 12 of these engines. So I wanted to make a stand to, um, to test them before I put them in a bike. Because usually I, I build the bike and I build the bike around the engine. Then I put the engine in and I wire it all up and plumb it all up. And sometimes I don't know if they run. So I wanted to make an engine stand that would test the engines. So I built this on an engine stand, a regular car engine stand that I got from Harbor Freight years ago. And then I uh, built some stuff on there to hold the engine up. And it has tabs on there to hold the engine on. It actually has little cradles on the tabs so that the CB350 engine just sits right in it. And then you can bolt it up. It makes it a lot easier than having to lift it and then put bolts through. So I did that to make it easier. Since I'm only going to be testing CB350 engines on here, I just made it for that. Um, and I plumbed it all up. I put the carburetors on it, cleaned. You know, I set the points. I did the timing, changed the oil. You know, all the normal stuff you do, you do it on here. And then when it's ready to fire, then you grab this other component, which I'm going to grab off screen in a minute. And then you uh, plug that in, hook a few things up, and then fire it up. I'm going to do this in real time with no video editing, so to make it, you know, show you how easy it is and how quick it is, hopefully. So, here we go. As you can see from that, um, it's fully self-reliant. It has the battery, it has all the wiring, it has all the electronics that we need. It has an on-off switch with a nice little light. So then we just gotta lock it down. I wanted it to be fully what the bike would have, so it has all the electrical connections that the bike would have. Um, this is a quick connect. It's the only one that you need a tool for. And it's for the starter motor, but I cut the end to make it like a fork, so you just have to slide it in there. You don't have to take the nut completely off. Makes it a little bit faster. I hook up spark plugs, and you gotta hook up the points. A little tricky to get to. I may lengthen them at some point. To make it a little easier. I'll lengthen the ones that are on the actual engine stand, not the ones that come from here. That would be foolish. Alright, we gotta pre-set up our throttle. Slides onto a bung. And then just tightens down like that. Now we have throttle. Let me uh, do this other side here. Fuel lines. I go underneath the engine. There's one. I'm not uh, putting a clamp on them or anything. I'm just going to let them run free flow. And um, it won't be on very long. I have a feeling one of these is going to leak a little bit, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Um, since I'm indoors, I like to have earplugs in when I fire the bikes up. I think you can hear the engine better. It cancels out a lot of the crappy noise you don't need to hear. I have a fire extinguisher, safety glasses. I like to wear gloves just for the hell of it. And I'm going to lock down the front end, which I didn't do. Double check everything. That's on. I like to leave my points cover off when I test an engine. I just like to see in there, I like to see what's going on. If it sparks a lot, the engine, you know, the points are dirty. That can give you an indication. I always like to see it flutter around. I like to make sure that both of them open the same amount. And they should, you know. So Alright, here we go. I'm gonna um 
I'll turn the petcock on a little bit just to fill the bowls up, I think. Go with that. Fire in the hole. Disconnect it, take this off, put it back over there, put a new engine in there if you want, and then uh, fire it back up again. I think it's pretty cool. I'm uh, probably going to add a couple more things. One thing I wish it had was this tachometer. Originally I had one right here, but then the gas tank got in the way. So maybe I'll add one of those. I'll probably add some rubber thingies to these so I can lift it up. I have this little holder thing that sits on the desk or whatever and just sits right there so it holds it up when I'm not using it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I think it's pretty awesome. It's been in my little brain for uh, a few months. I'm glad I finally built it. Took me, I don't know, took me a long time to build it. So I'm glad it works.